today is not the right of art or the wrong of art or the pretty art or the best art or the worst art or the screaming art or the quiet work. It's only me. And who is me and who is you? When you set your dining room table, that's your work of art. When you cut the flowers off your balcony and put them in a vase, that is your form of art. When you put an outfit together like this lady, that is a sculpture. She knows what goes with her figure. She knows what colors go well together. She knows how big the lapel should be, how big the wide the skirt should be. Every day, we women are creating art, and who knows about it? Does your husband know that when you set a dining room table, it's a work of art? We are involved with art every day, every minute of our life. What pair of shoes can you put on that wasn't designed by an artist? What table do you have in your home that wasn't designed by an artist? Your eyeglasses, everything that you wear, every package of food that you buy is enclosed in a package designed by an artist like I did for Faberge for many years and Revlon for many years and all the other people up in New York City that needed somebody with creative ability who could Shout from the rooftop what women need in the future to look good with. But who ever told you that there was a great woman in New York City by the name of Angel that was packaging your strawberry colognes and your brute colognes and all the other stuff? Who got the credit for that? A guy by the name of Milgo got the credit for it. They sacked my blood. They took my ideas. You never heard of me on the television as a beauty expert, have you? No. And it's going to take twice or three times more work for anyone to hear about me as an artist. Because the men get all the credit. Now, we're not here to gripe about the men. It's enough with the men. Boom. 